one misconception here is that as the business grows maybe you can relax more right yeah. which is so untrue your philosophy hai na ye khatam ho gaya ab khatam ho gaya ki main 2 saalon mein business start karunga unicorn ban jaunga and that's it and i'll sell it to somebody else and i'll take my exit doesn't it's not going to happen anymore ho gaya jiska lag gaya lag gaya jise kar liya kar liya so it took us a long time to build this up we started in 2010 effectively now we're sitting in 22 so my father retired as a brigadier but uh he he held a few very good posts right dmo ops there dmo plans there which are you know quite prestigious posts army is a tough life as well you know and um, i think often we can mistake it for ke ji aap army mein chale gaye hain to chale hi ho bachche bhi usme jayenge i saw him working and you know the kind of effort he was putting in uh versus you know if you talk about financial returns and all that you know probably uh, it's, it's it's not at par at mm. what you can come and uh, we went to uk we uh, my parents actually did get uh, divorced in between right so uh, you know we shifted to uk in that process look at the university jayenge enjoy karenge to mujhe to padhai yaad hai kuch khaas yaad nahi hai lekin you know we are too focused on the product when you ask the students or people startups young entrepreneurs aap puchte hain unse ki yaar aap पैसा आएगा तो करोगे क्या सो मोस्ट ऑफ दम आंसर आई प्रॉब्लम आई एम आई विल स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ इट ऑन माई प्रोडक्ट एंड आई एम गोट डू मार्केटिंग हार्डली पीपल टॉक अबाउट सेल्स लेकिन आई थिंक इंजीनियरिंग इट सेल्फ प्रॉब्ली इज अ बिग थिंग फॉर ऑल अस ऑल ऑफ अस थ्री ब्रदर्स हाउ इट हैज शेप टस आई वुड ऑलवेज वॉन्ट माई चिल्ड्रेन टू बिकम इंजीनियर्स फर्स्ट देन गेट एम बी ओर समथिंग एंड दैट कॉम्बिनेशन इज लीथल Hi everyone welcome to another episode uh today we have i think a very special guest hum log pichle bahut arse se jab startups ki businesses ki baat karte hain to bahut kam i think success stories hame nazar aati hain uh so this company started back in 26 uh, 2006 and 7 ke aas paas aur bhi mashallah pakistan ka pehla unicorn uh we have zishan sir today so thank, thank you. you so much thank you my pleasure uh ek to i think sabse pehle hum log dekhte hain ki bahut zyada aap nazar nahi aate you're like very like thoda sa chhup ke <laughs> you're just focusing on work uh spot on uh, tala you know you would uh, see that people who are often working very hard you of, you really get to see them so you spot on you know uh, we stay busy i think the idea is uh keep adding value and keep focusing on problem solving and that takes uh, you know 100% of your time so everything else is uh, you know what you earn or what you enjoy and all that so uski wajah se thodi si itni presence nahi hoti uh and as we've expanded over the last few years so obviously the workload keeps keeps increasing the dynamics keep changing the global climate and all of that so ever ever so busy right because you know? i've seen like generally jo jo sort of startup culture especially pichle 4 5 saalon se develop hua yeah, hai yeah. so it's a very wo ek i think itna wo cool aur wo sexy sa logon ne bana diya na like wherever you go in the events there's like same faces you see और मैं तो अक्सर ये सोचता हूँ कि यार अगर आप हर वक्त घूम फिर रहे हैं फेसबुक पर चीज़ें डाल रहे हैं तो वट टाइम आर यू गैस वर्किंग आई कैन ओनली से दैट यूर अगेन वंस अगेन यूर स्पॉट ऑन यू टू आर ऑफ टू राइट सो दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम राइट बिकॉज यू शुरू के दिनों में यू हैव टू शुरू के क्या थ्रू आउट राइट वन मिसकनसेप्शन हेयर इज दैट एज द बिजनेस ग्रोज मे बी यू कैन रिलैक्स मोर राइट विच इज सो अन ट्रू एज द बिजनेस ग्रोज यूर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आर प्रॉब्लम डबलिंग और ट्रिपलिंग एंड यू हैव टू पुट इन मोर एफर्ट आई थिंक द प्रोजेक्शन what we see in movies what we see on social media versus the ground reality right and yeah. don't fall for that mm. especially in a country like pakistan where you have problems to solve at work mm. and 50% of your problems are not even related to your work they're external problems crisis as i said sure. dynamics you know yeah. what's happening kabhi dharne kabhi protest kabhi kuch change kabhi kya change kabhi fx loss so uh, i totally can understand what you're saying uh, yes you still have to keep the culture like that you know so if you can maintain the culture where you have a family like culture Uh, on a scale even that's very difficult this is a separate discussion yeah. you know why it's difficult to maintain that so you can say somewhat some part of it is true but uh, not what we saw in we crashed right that's yeah. that's, that's very different uh, you know we still have to work uh, and productivity is the big thing nowadays mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. तो उस वजह से आई थिंक आप सही कह रहे हैं कि वो इतना सेक्सी होता नहीं है यू नो जितना दिखाया जा रहा होता है एंड देन यू एड ड्रामा टू इट एंड फ्लेवर टू इट एंड दैट्स व्हाट वी सी थिंक वो वही है वो नेटफ्लिक्स की सीरीज देख के और मूवीज देख के ना वी फील लाइक पता नहीं क्या चीज होगी बट व्हेन यू गो इनटू द थिंग इट्स जस्ट लाइक सो सो आई आई फील अगर आप काम को काम में पैशन ऐड कर दें एंड यू यू गिव अ पर्पस टू पीपल व्हाट आई एम गोना सॉल्व व्हाई आई एम डूइंग दिस एंड इफ यू कैन डिफाइन दैट वेरी स्ट्रांगली then you will see the difference that people actually don't have to be moving around 
with a cup of coffee in their hand and chit chatting, you know, then they're focused on work and they enjoy that more so than. But if you are not able to define the purpose or even short term milestones, hmm. then it gets very difficult. Then you see what you see on Netflix, yeah, right? Yeah. So uh, before we go forward, I wanted to understand a uh, little bit of your background. Sure. So, so, but so your father was in army. वहाँ से शुरू हुआ. So सबसे पहले तो आप फौज में नहीं गए. Because that's a typical sort of a thing, <laughs> you know, in the uh, fauji families. So uh, I think uh, typical and not so typical, right? Uh, see, uh, army is a tough life as well, you know. And um, I think often we can mistake it for. कि जी आप आर्मी में चले गए हैं तो चले ही और बच्चे भी उसमें जाएंगे स्पेशली एज यू क्लाइम अप द रैंक्स सो माय फादर रिटायर्ड एज अ ब्रिगेडियर बट ही हेल्ड फ्यू वेरी गुड पोस्ट्स राइट डी एम ओ ऑप्स थे डी एम ओ प्लान्स थे विच आर यू क्वाइट प्रस्टीजियस पोस्ट और उस जगह पे आई सॉ हिम वर्किंग एंड यू द काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट ही वॉज पुटिंग इन वर्सेज यू इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फाइनेंशियल रिटर्न एंड ऑल दैट यू प्रोबेबली नॉट एट पार एट वॉट यू कैन अकम्पलिश अदरवाइज But uh, still have a lot of respect for army. Still have a lot of respect because I belong to uh, that army family. Not only that, uh, I think a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes we don't get to see that. Hmm. Uh, we didn't go into that because uh, you know we uh, were more ambitious and more uh, prone towards the business side. So families on both the sides, my mother and so there, there were strong few businessmen, and you know they were the source of inspiration. Sorry. And father's direction was also somewhat you know that. Uh, effort versus return is always what you should focus on. Mm. Uh, so it's your life plan and see what you want to do. And uh, we went to UK. We uh, my parents actually did get uh, divorced in between, right? So uh, you know we shifted to UK in that process. And uh, this journey started. Uh, be uh, I was probably 16 or okay. so, right? 16, 17. So I just finished my FSC second year. Uh, I'm probably the only person in Pakistan who's never seen BK or A-levels BK. So, so, <laughs> so I know the flavor on both the sides. And uh, when we shifted to UK, then uh, the journey on uh, you know, that side started. It was education initially, obviously, and then you. Uh, and you studied. Uh, so I did chemical engineering, uh, masters and bachelors, and one go. It was a four-year course at Imperial College London, and uh, uh, quite a tough course, I would say. बिकॉज लोग कितने यूनिवर्सिटी जाएंगे इन्जॉय करेंगे तो मुझे तो पढ़ाई याद है और कुछ खास याद नहीं है लेकिन आई थिंक इंजीनियरिंग इट सेल्फ प्रॉब्ली इज अ बिग थिंग फॉर ऑल अस ऑल ऑफ अस थ्री ब्रदर्स हाउ इट हैज शेप्ड अस इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सो आई ऑफन से दैट यू मिक्स इट अप विद बिजनेस एंड दैट्स द बेस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन आई वुड ऑलवेज वॉन्ट माई चिल्ड्रेन टू बिकम इंजीनियर्स फर्स्ट दैन गेट एम बी और समथिंग एंड दैट कॉम्बिनेशन इज लीथल बट डिड यू सेलेक्टेड खुद से इंजीनियरिंग और वॉज इट लाइक So I was really, really. Uh, this is uh, on the lighter side. So I was. Uh, so when I did my FSC, my course was Sir Aslam, Sir Syed College, Basana, uh, Badpindi, right? And uh, I got tuition from him, and I was super good at chemistry. So when I went uh, to UK and did my A levels over there, you know, I would uh, be so good that the class wouldn't even compete with me, right? So I would, you know, probably ace most of the papers. So I said, "Chemistry, go pursue it." राइट तो केमिस्ट्री को प्रस्यू करना है तो अगर केमिस्ट्री को प्रस्यू करूँगा तो उसमें तो दिस नॉट बनो बी मनी रिटर्न्स एंड आई वॉन्ट इंजीनियरिंग मिक्स सो दैट्स वाई आई शिफ्ट टू केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग नॉट टेकिंग अ डीप डाइव इन टू द सब्जेक्ट एज सच के केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग इज मोस्टली फिजिक्स देन केमिस्ट्री राइट एंड आई फाउंड आउट विद इन द फर्स्ट फ्यू क्लासेज के अब मैं फिजिक्स की साइड पर आ गया हूँ बट इंजीनियर इट वॉज टोटली ऑल ऑफ अस राइट इट वॉज टोटली आर चॉइस वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू डू and uh, chemical engineering uh, ke- uh, probably uh, the engineers are the highest paid paid engineers right, right per se so that was kind of a determining factor okay and uh, i also was into chemistry process engineering was like my one of my favorite mm-hmm. subjects so uh, you know koi uh, pressure nahi tha koi family ka pressure nahi tha but us time haven't you thought like doing just a bba like or something like business wali side pe uh nahi uh, so business was i would say in the veins you know, always thought about ke kuch karna hai apna and uh, you know probably had that thing because when i was doing my uh, in, uh, when i was at university as well so i did one or two ventures online ventures while at university right so i always had this thing that you know going to probably do something of my own but uh, at the same time uh, you know i think uh, it was more of learning ourselves than uh, there being a mentor Who is telling us what to do, right? Hmm. Now, what that does is it gets your true potential out, but at the same time, obviously, you can make mistakes or you might be off track for some time. So, I guess uh, you know, didn't 
care too much about you see most of the dropouts become big businessmen yeah. right so didn't care too much about what i'm going to study and how it's going to help me mm. uh, build business uh, we have been uh, us brothers all of us you know me, we've been problem solvers so problem solvers uh, you know naturally the shift was towards engineering uh, and then uh, the business uh, flavor we learned Mm. Uh, on the field or you maybe you said you did like some good good ji ha waha wo na there was an it boom uh, in those days uh, in uk and uh, everyone wanted to set up a website so, so yeah. i did uh, a little bit of uh, online trading uh, did set up a website uh, and started building up a downline of people so it was kind of a uh scheme where you would actually uh, get paid for surfing online you know remember so those days yeah, right yeah, yeah. you know back in the days and now you'll make decent amounts of money so as a student what do you say you say okay let's let's get going right so i started building up a downline on different uh, platforms and i had probably downline of about 4000 to 5000 people under me right so yeah. the businesses the models collapsed because they couldn't uh, keep the business intact you know how much you're going to pay because the downline is going to be so massive but that did teach me a lot of stuff like how to go uh, about building up. and then when people found out in university kya mujhe website banani aati hai so, so i became the go to place right so then maine apni society ki website bana di chemical engineering ki imperial college ki you start charging as well uh, not really so it was more of uh, you know maybe building up friends and connections more so than mm-hmm. charging people but uh, a lot of people would come to me and say and it wasn't very difficult i just learned dream weaver in those days so and i started deploying this uh but it was so unknown to people and it was like you know un- uncharted territory so people would come to you for advice and all uh phir wo karte i did that in my second year and got a flavor of it made some money lose lost some money and all that but uh i think that was a good starting point hmm. trying to get uh, uh, you know into and i did suffer uh, in my second year a little bit as well right Sorry. as far as education is concerned but uh it was kind of a starting point trying getting the real flavor of it right and, and, and at that time also like did you also had like which inspiration around you at that time when you were student like any i don't know family member anyone you you look up to okay um yeah was it like coming in when you're young right and i'm not sure you were second all the audience who's uh, they're listening to us right so they were second this i think the key driving factor is okay i want to you know make something big i want to earn more and i want to make more money right that's the key driving mm. factor right okay well, how can i be independent and do something of my own uh so person not following anyone obviously family mein kuch log the jinko aap look up karenge consult bhi kar lenge but uh, generally speaking it, it was more of uh, having that adventurous mind and you know looking at okay let's do this not didn't even know about fundraising or anything at that point in time but uh it was more so i want to do something which uh, i am in control of and see what i can do and uh, what's my capability uh so we probably started that way and uh, later on jab university khatam ho gaya maybe we actually started business you know so probably that's one of the reasons you know we uh, uh had uh, you know i had experienced it so i knew that there is a lot of scope and early days i figured out that if you uh can package and have the right kind of perception then you can practically sell anything right mm-hmm. so <laughs> i have a few stories of that as well i became a, a, a power seller on ebay for some time right. right in uk and there's a lot of stuff happening in those days and then my brother and we you know started this venture you know so this uh, a lot you know, of things story. Like, so uh, you graduated so you finish your uni in uh, uh 2002 so uske baad next step was so 2002 i finished and uh, you know then uh, uh, about so th- there was kind of a market slump right and obviously one thought was let's get an engineering job uh, i had done an internship with the uh, with jacobs engineering you know so i had kind of an offer from there but uh, didn't pursue that and then later on i said okay let's let's uh, get a job and at the same time see if you know there is something i can do on the side So I was applying for jobs uh, it was kind of a lull period right not much happening uh, you know cha- I think 5000 logon ke interviews hote the source mein se hote yeah. the filter I remember going through the whole cycle with Thames Water and in the end ek position available thi wo bhi wo jo aap sab jo aap nahi karna chahte the so I said this is an opportunity to see what else can you do yeah. uh, and uh, started selling on eBay in between Uh, you know so just learning so i wasn't wasting time totally ke acha job ke liye pursue kar rahe hain to saath saath ye bhi kare aur kya what were you selling i was selling x goods right so right. Uh, most mostly uh, you know most of the stores when they can't sell stock it goes out in auction 
or it goes to specific companies, then they liquidate that at dirt cheap prices. Now it could be category A, B, C, or if you are category A, ke kuch le rahe hai, they are like purely refined. Yeah, but there chances that they will come out good things, electronics and all that. C, mein le rahe hai, maybe you might need to mm. get them repaired. So I used to uh, order pallets, big pallets. Oh, pure pallets are there. So if you are lucky, then the margins are 100%. You know, let's say over order you have done 5,000 pounds or 3,000 pounds, you have done something and you have done something and you have done 100% and if you are unlucky then the margins are going to be low about 20%, 30% and you could probably you know, place them on uh, eBay and then that's when I learned and this is probably a message for everyone that you know, the world is understanding what seeing is believing mm. if you can have the right kind of perception and packaging you can practically sell anything in mm. life and I remember in those days uh, I did an experiment uh, we, uh, so I was because selling on eBay, so I said, okay, you know, my friend in Pakistan, I said, you're coming to me, a good marble chest set. Right? Hey. Uh, I just want to test out the market, what it's like. Uh, so he took a chest set and he took a wooden stand, he took a handmade. So the total cost maybe one and a half pounds. And I had learned flash photography, right? Flash cube, I made a good album, I made everything, and I had a poster on eBay. And uh, I remember, you know, uh, the margins for that, for that sale were about uh, 70 times, right? So I sold it for 70 pounds, roughly, wow. right? It was the highest price, typical price going price was 15 pounds. And I read a guide or two and I figured out, you know, how you should package your stuff, how you should market it and all. So uh, I think these experiments and they teach you a lot, right? And then you figure out, okay, you know, what, what needs to be done mm -hmm. and how the world works, right? So, yeah, so did that for some time. At the same time, you know, we were uh, looking at a few other options, right? So we started uh, this website in UK. It used to be called Wholesale Pages. It doesn't exist anymore. And uh, that's what me and my brother, we got together and uh, we did that. Um, it was more of an online uh, 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 kind of a directory like connecting site. people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you get the idea, right? So uh, you're putting, bringing buyers and sellers together onto a platform. Just about yellow page type. G, G, yellow page type, but a little more, right? So you could, uh, you could, uh, little, a little bit like I would say Alibaba kind of Sorry. a model, right? Uh, didn't have the feeds coming in from mm -hmm. the wholesalers, but we were actually, so there was, so what happened was, you know, when we were selling on eBay, we said, okay, uh, a calm karte hai, you know, less computers were like hot items and there were good margins in the computer industry. So we said, okay, let's uh, source computers and sell them online. Uh, a lot of people were doing that, especially in US, not so much so in UK, uh, but, you know, we started looking for suppliers, couldn't find suppliers at all. So we said, okay, uh, what, what next, right? Well, so we went to exhibitions and all that. We found some good, good source of suppliers, but nothing was available online. Mm. We said, okay, let's package this Sorry. and put it online. And then, uh, you know, the people who are looking for such information can actually come in and then put a price tag to it, right, to access the information. So that's what we did. Uh, little I knew that that business was, you know, probably the, the because there was no information available, mm. so people were hungry for such information. A lot of people wanted to set up their own startups and business and all that. So we started with uh, this directory online, which then changed into more like a platform. And from the platform, you know, we started sourcing feeds from wholesalers and all that. And the business actually grew pretty well. Mm -hmm. you know? So th that was our first proper business Look online. EBay business. Wali site ko ko, uh, aapne wo kiya Dekhe, because you were wo, uh, there was a lot of potential. Haan, jay, eBay mein potential tha, but equally competition bhi hota hai, right? And uh, yes, you know, I was a power seller within six months, but uh, the margins are thin. Mm. And uh, you know, what kind of a business you can build out of it, there's going to be a limitation unless you're a manufacturer or producer yourself, mm. right? So mm. if you're the middleman, then you have to, if you want to do better than what you're doing, in the sense that margins and numbers, what you, then then you have to scale up, and you have to go into that. That's practically kind of in a different way, but mm. that's what we mm. did, right? So we learned a lot. Uh, that's you know, you say people often say, both log aate hain, idea kahan se aaya aapko? Mm. idea pe baat hamesha karte hain, idea aapko you know kahin se aata nahi hai, it evolves, yeah. right? it builds over time, and you build up some expertise then you look at what you can do and mm. then you keep improving on your expertise and you keep uh, pushing for the right kind of niche and mm. market mm. but if you say that I sit at home and say I remember that I have come and I have done some work it doesn't work like that mm. I think for anyone mm. right uh, that's what I would say and we have so many examples of this right people mm. start with what when you look at their autobiography yes, it's so so evolution basically evolution and then how do you reach the land from there? Uh, so zameen tak uh, isliye pahunche kyunki pakistan mein bade hue the so <laughs> and uh, there was always an idea that we want to go back to pakistan you know uh, and work uh, in the country or do something for the country so that was i think that's where 
probably that army angle comes in Sorry. right and uh, also I, I guess you go abroad uh, even if you make it big our business was doing pretty good right you mm. know we had good margins 70 80 percent margins you know so naturally we should have kept expanding on mm. that side but there was an affiliation and love for the country for the people and uh, a lot of people told us what are you doing you know what are you doing but it was more of an equation of okay nah, you know it's just that you just feel connected you feel uh, that this is what you are right and this is where you were born so this is where you belong so pakistan mein hum sab us zamane mein aapko sabko pata jab koi bhi banda pakistan mein bada hua to usne ghar se leke dining table se leke you know bathroom se leke everywhere ek hi cheez suni hoti hai property 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 right and because we had the it touch so we said okay you know this is one niche that we can tap into and we started out both in pakistan and simultaneously almost in uae at the same time and we set up this portal it wasn't our um, i would say it wasn't a business idea back in 2005 6 it was more of a cost center kind of something which will grow organically over time and uh, you know we'll see when the market is ready because internet in pakistan was 256k in those days yeah. and 256k jo subah aata tha sham ko nahi aata tha to aapne kaise kaam karna tha so we just set up our back end for our uh, uk business and at the same time we were looking at uh, doing this but at that time did you move back ya wahan se ye like so we're moving back and forth so and uh, we thought this would be a semi back end kind of uh, venture which we'll set up and which will mature over time uh, you know time ka pata nahi chala kab wo यू नो थोड़ा बहुत हमेशा से था कि वापस सो आना है एट सर्टन पॉइंट इन टाइम और यहाँ पर आके काम करना है बट टाइमिंग का नहीं पता था वो कब हिट करेगा बट बिकॉज वी स्टार्ट मूविंग फ्राम दुबई पाकिस्तान बैक ऑल द वे वी डिट सेटअप अ कंपनी इन दुबई इन बिटवीन सो वी वो लाइक ओके यूँ यहाँ पर कर रहे हैं काम कर रहे हैं करते करते यूँ वी thought okay this is where mm. we are this is what we need to do so when so when when did you realize like what was the point yeah what was the event can you realize yeah this I think it wasn't a very long time in the process right so i would say practically within the first 6 months okay. right we knew okay you know because it ki ek beauty thi ab utni nahi hai mm. uh, which is that you can sit anywhere and run up an it yeah. uh, business right and online because you could generate online sales and gradually online needs an offline flavor as well which i can talk about as we come to zameen तो वो जो ऑनलाइन वाला एंगल था उसमें यू नो वी वी रियलाइज दैट वी कुड बी सेटिंग इन दुबई और पाकिस्तान एंड मैनेजिंग द यूके बिजनेस सो वी सेड ओके इफ वी कैन डू दैट इफेक्टिवली देन वी कैन स्पेंड मोर टाइम हेयर राधर देन ओवर देयर एंड सी व्हाट एल्स वी कैन वी कैन डू हेयर सो इज मीन वी एट वन पॉइंट टाइम हैड ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड वेबसाइट्स राइट यू नो डिफरेंट एंगल्स वी डिड सेट अप अ वेरी स्मॉल कार्स वेबसाइट यू नो वी हैड अ मुस्लिम डेटिंग काइंड ऑफ वेबसाइट वी वर्किंग ऑन वी नेवर लॉन्च डेट Uh, we had a lot of directories that we had launched online you know uh, and this so was with the spam of what 3 4 years this was probably a year and a half wow. year year and a half right you know wow. uh, how do you do like 100 websites yes so um, like do you have a team yeah yeah we do have a team here okay. we have an it team and uh, we are young uh, you know we were doing a 70% margin business Sorry. so we said you know we thought literally thought and that's probably you know you learn from your mistakes and this is where you need some kind of mentorship right mm-hmm. or uh, from the right people aapki soch is not develop hoti hai ki main jis cheez ko haath lagaunga wo sona ban jayegi mm-hmm. which which doesn't happen yeah. right and you think okay because you have limited time and one one message i always give to my team so everyone is that this is the only commodity that we don't have enough of mm-hmm. everything else is an output so agar aap apne time ki utility sahi tarah use nahi karte aur usko ab de focus ho ke har jagah pe ja ke aap uh, try kar rahe hain so you're bound to lose focus and uh, drive from what is your core hmm. and so hence you know we started what well, everything we did got some results some sometimes you got really good results as well but at the expense of the other business hmm. right and that's when we realized ki this is this is not practical this is not going to happen and we learned the lesson pretty early right so 3 4 saal into the business you know we had figured out ke ye nahi chalega right so we need to consolidate and focus on one or two particular so niches yeah. and uh, pakistan mein real estate asset class ke alawa to aap you know this is the probably the best niche you can focus on so what, zameen what why com- do you think this is the this is the best niche in pakistan matlab uh, there is globally no. right real estate is a need is a necessity is an investment and everything combined right to so, uh, आप यू एनी नेसेसिटी बेस्ड बिजनेस इज इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग नीश यू कैन बी एन राइट नाउ वाई रियल स्टेट इन पाकिस्तान बिकॉज रियल स्टेट पाकिस्तान की अगर आप थोड़ा सा अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे तो इट्स 
it's, it has never seen a crash. It, mm. it has seen corrections. And uh, registered, the way it's structured in Pakistan is uh, a cash-based kind of a business model. Uh, we don't have the mortgage market, so we don't have the volatility that you see uh, in international markets. And uh, if you study most of the businesses, uh, the likes of McDonald's and all that, they are not a fast food business. They're a registered business, right? Everyone knows that. School business in Mijayang, though yeah. they're a registered business. So every business somewhat is focused on real estate. And it clearly defines that niche as, as the key niche. Pakistan's market, though, even our fundamentals are strong here, mm. right? If you have cash based, hai, toh, market doesn't see a crash, it becomes more of a hedge. Now, at the moment, it's even a hedge against default, right? If mm. you think of it that way. So it's a hedge against uh, saving your currency value or saving your investment and uh, making sure that you can weather any storm. So it was not so much knowledge at this time, but this is something uh, what is, we have yeah. heard. This is something, and we figured out the business model in UK in those mm-hmm. days. Uh, UK may we had uh, fish for home star, so we knew that this is a model that can be replicated. And uh, although the dynamics on the ground are going to be different, but this can be uh, replicated in Pakistan. Or or pehle, have you came across any similar website in Pakistan? No, when we started start kiya tha, toh, maybe one or two people out there, but there were like random uh, websites where nobody was p- uh, putting in a conscious effort to, co- to structure it as a portal. Hmm. And uh, the odd thing is the media groups were not also focused on. Uh, typically, most of the portals you would see globally, uh, they're backed up by media groups. In Pakistan, hmm. media was not focused on that. Or Baki Biko Yitana has nothing, nothing much on the ground when we started. Uh, so, and the challenge in an emerging market, up to a challenge come with is that it's very fragmented and distributed, right? You don't have an address or a postcode. Mm. Uh, we literally had to draw out Pakistan, yeah. right? Ke jis, uh, uh, Gulberg may search karni hai. Yeah, we had to map all of it. Wow. We had to structure all of it. New categories, locations, subcategories, kya hoengi, kya uh, Initial early days, we had a survey team of about uh, four to five people and uh, they used to go on their bikes hmm. right? uh, we surveyed every single city so shuru mein when you started uh, zameen us time kitne log the aapke paas dekhiye shuru mein uh, for the first few years i would say uh, till we started putting investment back into the business uh, it was a very small team about six to seven people okay. uh, a few engineers who were actually working on the platform it was a cost center so there was no revenue stream it, we hadn't monetized it very little monetization on some credits but packages and everything was free mm-hmm. so it was kind of uh, getting the traction and capturing the market in an organic manner uh, we we're getting them used to the portal and for i think literally about two to three years there was no monetization on the portal. Sorry. Or the investment that you started, that was self job that you did from other places? That was... Or did you get any sort of investor? Yes, we, we raised uh, kind of uh, an angel, Gilles Blanchard. He was uh, the co-founder of Sologer.com, which was uh, which got sold out for almost a billion euros, uh, dollars, I guess. But uh, So he uh, then joined General Atlantic and he was looking for a merger and acquisition options. And that's when he came on board in his own personal capacity because Pakistan market wasn't ready to mm. get VCs in at that mm. point in time. Uh, so he came in as an angel. Uh, we uh, partnered with him in the sense that we raised the first capital together. So we, we uh, 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 did our part, he did his part, we combined our funds and we deployed the first capital and started building up on the sales front. That's in t- 2010 and 11. And that's when we started putting our sales teams on the ground. And so after that, we started the offline flavor. So there was purely online. We were mm. getting some uh, credits being sold online, some uh, funds coming in, but it was a very small amount, right? And uh, then we re- said, okay, this is not... Uh, I mean, it's kind of an o- IT-enabled online business, but you need still need your offline team to so reach out to agencies and mm. get the classifieds, mm. ads, and all that coming. And there was a lot of learning in that process after that, right? So that's when it started. And at that time, I think, abhi bhi generally, mm-hmm. when you think about property, the first thing property dealers come to your mind. I mean, you go to any place. Sure. How did you sort of, on that whole ecosystem, hai, uske saath, how did you sort of uh, cope up with it? Look, the first challenge was very enormous, thai, right? Um, because uh, internet penetration, I think in 2014, you had 3G or 4G, then you started to get penetration of the internet. Before that, it was just uh, landlines, or maybe you had an ISDN and uh, DSL connections and all that. So it was difficult, right? And uh, humare, uh, typically, globally, it's 
के मोस्ट ऑफ द कम्यूनिटी दैट गोज इन टू द रियल इस्टेट बिजनेस एजेंट्स एंड एजेंसीज देर इज़ नो स्पेसिफिक डिप्लोमास और डिग्रीज दैट दे टेक इन यूनिवर्सिटी सो देर इज़ अ लॉट मनी इन दिस सेक्टर बट येट देर इज़ नो फॉर्मल अब थोड़ा सा स्ट्रक्चर चेंज हो गया है नाउ यू माइट गेट सम कोर्सेज और टिपिकल जो अथॉरिटीज़ होती हैं आपसे कोर्सेज कराती हैं बट उस जमाने में तो अभी भी हैं कोई कोर्सेज लाइक अभी पाकिस्तान में तो छोटे छोटे कुछ होंगे बट नथिंग स्पेसिफिक ऐसा अभी तक यूनिवर्सिटीज में भी आई डोंट थिंक नहीं प्रॉपरली अभी तक किसी ने इसको एड्रेस नहीं किया अभी डू गेट रीच आउट एट टाइम्स के जिस पे कुछ हम बना लें कुछ कोर्सेज बना लें एंड वी हैड वन और टू डिस्कशन बट अभी तक कोई प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर उस पर कोई ऐसे नहीं है कोर्स के जिसको प्रॉपर एज ए कोर्स पढ़ाया जाए and it's kind of ironic right because yeah. you know, it's such a big industry but nobody is teaching anyone to get into this industry and i think the lack of education which still exists but on the no me to aap bhool hi jaye na ji ki kisi ko idea tha ki humne because you're transiting you are saying i am totally offline i yeah. have to go online and online ki jo domain hai usme jo basic knowledge bhi nahi hai aapko yeah. as an agent you don't even know how to put an ad on yeah. onto the website so the challenges in early days वर्क के इनको पहले सिखाना है इनको ऑनलाइन लेके आना है एंड उसके लिए वी हैड अ बिग ऑपरेशन टीम टिल डेट वी हैव इट पर वाज मैसिव यू नो हमारे कोई 300 400 बंदे थे ऑपरेशंस के दे वुड गो सो वी हैड मल्टीपल टच पॉइंट्स दे वुड गो ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन दे वुड रीच आउट टू द एजेंसी वी वुड कलेक्ट देयर लिस्टिंग्स ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर वाय द सिस्टम ऑन अ कॉल सो वी सेपरेट कॉल टीम व्हिच वुड कॉलिंग टीम लीच टीम वी कॉल इट राइट दे वुड कॉल द एजेंट्स एंड कलेक्ट द लिस्टिंग्स and there was a whole process to this uh, madness right and mm-hmm. how are we going to get them educated and uh, push them online so i think there is a lot of effort and investment going into that and that's why for uh, the first 8 to 9 years you mm-hmm. know the, the portal didn't even break even mm-hmm. there was an investment investment going in because you know the classified industry or the agencies were so used to using newspaper as their yeah. best best medium right yeah. and unko to ye kaam samajh bhi nahi aata tha so wo uh, emails aati thi to we, i remember you know we would check our open rates the email ke open rates itne low hote the mm. right? they wouldn't open their emails because they were used to the phone true aur wo phone pe us zamane mein email bhi sahi nahi aati thi to wo unko fir humne email jab bhi aati thi unko sms aata tha ki aapki email aayi aap email khol le so we we did uh, innovate as we were mm. building this and right? how did you develop the processes because jaise aapne kaha pakistan mein to kuch bhi nahi tha okay. so did you got like koi bahar se processes kuch thode se ya Dekhi, was, was yes, it like um, brainstorming on the uh, मैं uh, इसमें ना दो चीज़ें uh, कहूँगा एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट हाउ दे शुड थिंक अबाउट देयर बिजनेस वन इज वी यूज टू गो टू द प्रॉपर्टी पोर्टल कॉन्फ्रेंस समटाइम्स वी वुड प्रेजेंट देयर अदर टाइम्स यू जस्ट गो एंड लर्न फ्रॉम पीपल एंड फ्यू पोर्टल आई रिमेंबर देर वॉज अ पोर्टल ऑफ यू आर रियल इन दुबई इन सॉरी इन ब्राजील दे हैड अ सिमिलर इशू वेयर दे हैड टू कलेक्ट लिस्टिंग्स सो सो दैट्स वेर वी पिकड अप ओके वी हैव टू बिल्ड अ सेपरेट टीम वी यूज टू कॉल दम राइडर्स and they have to bring in these listings and your commission whatever your sales agent is getting is a function of getting the sale plus the listings right so it's not Say. a function of just sales so so some things you pick up hota kya mumbai hum log conferences mein jaate hain you know we pick up stuff you know because my philosophy goes around uh, you build strategy or you learn strategy uh, then you implement it and then you track monitor and you try to get results right mm. हम लोग लर्न uh, तक तो काफ़ी लोग कर लेते mm-hmm. हैं जी कुछ लोग इम्प्लीमेंट करते हैं बट इम्प्लीमेंट करने के बाद दे थिंक इट्स ऑटोमेशन एंड इट्स नेवर ऑटोमेशन राइट दैट्स वेयर द रियल वर्क स्टार्ट्स वी हैव टू इंश्योर पुश हार्ड टू मेक श्योर दैट इट इट कन्वर्ट्स इनटू अ स्पेसिफिक रिजल्ट दैट यू ट्राइन टू अचीव एंड इफ इट्स नॉट दैन यू डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग इन बिटवीन सो कुछ आपको डू अटेंड दीज कॉन्फ्रेंसेज गो ऑनलाइन अब तो खैर बहुत ऑनलाइन भी हो गया सो यू कैन पिकअप इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड अदर थिंग इज देर इज़ नो कॉपी पेस्ट एंड लाइक ये हम लोग अमूमन मिस्टेक करते हैं इवन आर स्टार्टअप्स यू नो दैट ओके दिस इज आइडिया आई एम गोना कॉपी एड आई एम जस्ट गोना पेस्ट इट एंड सी व्हाट आउट मार्केट डायनामिक्स मतलब आप अपने पाकिस्तान में देख लें पाकिस्तान में आप अगर पाकिस्तान को कंपेयर कर लें यू से या पाकिस्तान को कंपेयर कर लें यू से या कोई और कंट्री से यूरोप में यहाँ पर आपके एक से ज़्यादा कल्चर्स हैं राइट यू नो लैंग्वेज आपकी इतनी ज़्यादा हैं एंड द डायनामिक्स दैट अप्लाई इन सिन आर दी डिफरेंट टू वट यू गो नो लर्न इन पंजाब इवन टू द एक्सटेंट के शुरू में हमारी टेली सेल्स टीम थी वो जब कराची जाती थी वो कहते थे यार हमने पंजाबी आप आ गए हो यहाँ पे कौन है सो wow. so, अगर हम कहते नहीं 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 एंड इनिशियली यू वी लर्न दैट इन यूरोप एटी परसेंट ऑफ द सेल्स वर डन ऑन फोन सो वॉज टेली सेल्स आज भी ऐसे है सो द डायरेक्शन दैट केम सो यू लर्न टू सम एक्सटेंट सो डायरेक्शन दैट केम यू नो फ्राम आर फाउंडर वॉज के अच्छा जी आप टेली सेल्स को बिल्ड करें और टेली सेल्स के थ्रू काम करें राइट यू नो दैट मोर कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव द ग्राउंड रियलिटी वॉज 
It's that we different. have to put people on the ground yeah. and they want to see faces, mm. lack of trust. Mm. You know, you come in, you say, I'm going to package you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you 50,000 rupees. I'm going to give you 50,000 rupees. True, right? true. You know, so we have to build that trust through people on mm. the ground. Mm. So what my message here is that it's uh, you learn and then you look at the ground reality and then you tweak your strategy to the extent that it makes sense as far as the ground reality is supporting you. Don't build a business or mm. anything in life which is not coherent with what's happening on the ground. Mm. So this is gap in open thought. Mein. We think that it's going to go there, it's not going to go there. It's not going to go there, because it's not going to go there. That's what we learned over time. And in the middle, so you started in 20, uh, 2006 say onward, 10, 11, 12, tak, I think, operations are So what was the point where you think, yeah, this is now, like, you know, it was sort of peak on the because at that time, like I said, 3G, 4G, now the internet is not still like we are uh, in not, not at par with, you know, yeah, probably no. Pakistan is ranked really low. So, but what was the time, time ke you, you feel like, ke yaar, I think this will work or like we have a potential to go unicorn or, you know. Nee, dekhe, uh, you, you're chasing the wrong kind of a goal, right? You know, so if you're thinking I'm going to go unicorn and I want to work towards that, then I, that's the wrong philosophy, right? You need to have your, we never uh, gave that too much of thought right that's how unicorn cup banning your case even in a cabin in a car goal accomplish getting a yagi journey care our focus was uh, you need to have a, a, a shorter milestones right you know month on month goals can up hmm. here month on month targets can your business plan can agree the broad shot yeah like in do you truly follow that hmm. and do you ensure that I'm not gonna miss any of the KPIs and the numbers in there so we used to have an yearly business plan اتنی ایجنسیز لے کے آنی ہے اتنی لسٹنگس لے کے آنی ہے اتنا ریونیو لے کے آنا ہے اور اس کو اینڈ اسٹے ہیڈ آف دا گیم اینڈ دین یور بیٹل از آن ملٹیپل فرنٹس ڈونٹ جسٹ پک اپ ون بیٹل کہ میں یہ کر لوں گا آئی ہیو سین دس رائٹ آئی سین ود پورٹلس ہو اسٹارٹ وچ اسٹارٹیڈ ان ڈفرنٹ کنٹریز مچ بیٹر اسٹرانگر کنٹریز اکنامکلی اینڈ دے کوڈنٹ فگر اٹ آؤٹ اینڈ دے کلیپس اینڈ دا ریزن واز بیکاز یو نو دے گاٹ ون ون پارٹ آف دا پرابلم سالو دس ہزار ایجنسیز لے کے آئے ریونیو نہیں ہے آپ اس ٹائم میں منیٹائز کریں گے تو دین یو آر پرابلی ان اے ڈیچ آلریڈی رائٹ منیٹائز کر لیا لیکن ایجنسیز کی لسٹنگس کو صحیح طرح مینج نہیں کیا آپ نے ان لمیٹیڈ پیکیجز دے دیے یو مین کمپٹیشن کیم ہیئر لمودی کیم ہیئر اینڈ اوور ایکس ایز ویل دیر وی ویر ویر ہیونگ لاف بیکاز دے ویر گیونگ ان لمیٹیڈ پیکیجز سو واٹ ہیپنس از ون ایجنسی وچ گوز آن لائن از گو نو پٹ ٹین تھاؤزینڈ ایڈس ورس دا ریسٹ آف دیم وچ آر پوٹنگ فائیو ایڈس ٹین ایڈس اینڈ ٹیکس اوے دا چنک آف دا لیڈس ہاؤ ڈو یو گرو بزنس دیٹ رائٹ سو دیز تھنگ سو وی وی ویر آل فوکس آن دا فنڈامنٹلس As I said, ground reality, fundamentals, mm. tweaking the business model and making sure that we do the right kind of stuff on the ground. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we never missed our uh, business plan targets and numbers, mm. right? So that mm. was the focus. It was a year on year goal. Uh, and, uh, you know, one thing that I would give uh, credit to, you know, the early uh, the investors slash Jeel, uh, uh, he did teach us that never forget revenue, right? آج بھی آپ دیکھیں اب جو کلائمیٹ ہے اس وقت رائٹ وی سی کا اسٹارٹ اپس کا رائٹ آج سے اگر آپ ایک سال پہلے چلے جائیں واز آل اباؤٹ گروتھ نو بڈی کیئر اباؤٹ ریونیو فار اس ریونیو واز دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ میٹرک اینڈ ایوری تھنگ ایلس کیم آفٹر دیٹ یو نو اف یو نو میک منی دین اونلی یو کو نو سروائیو رائٹ اینڈ ٹھیک ہے آپ لاس میکنگ ہیں آپ نیگیٹو چل رہے ہیں آپ کا بیڈا نہیں نکل رہا آپ کا مارجنس لو ہیں بٹ ایٹ لیسٹ یو آر پوشنگ فار ریونیو گروتھ نان سو and in, in an organic manner obviously it took us a long time right it wasn't like two salo me dekhiye jo philosophy hai na ye khatam ho gayi ab khatam ho gayi ki main two salo mein business start karunga unicorn ban jaunga and that's it and i'll sell it to somebody else and i'll take my exit doesn't it's not going to happen anymore ho gaya jiska lag gaya lag gaya jisse kar liya kar liya so it took us a long time to build this up we started in 2010 effectively now we're sitting in 22 and it took us good six to seven years with the right kind of strategy you know building up the right kind of teams most of our people Uh, management layer may have been with us for a long time. They've grown with the company mm. as uh, somewhat founders than uh, I would say managers, right? Mm. And they've seen this journey, right? So it's very important that you know, make them part of it. We are very transparent with mm. our thought process. Mm. 90% of the companies out here wouldn't even share their P&Ls with people. You know, our people, we have P&L down to the bottom of receptionist ka P&L. Kya. We build vertical, vertical P&Ls. And you know, these guys were learning this. Okay, mm. this person has a cost. What yeah. is that, sco- that cost to my business? And how can I either cover that cost or maybe that person is not effective for me? Mm. Mm. So, mm. over time, build on it. Sure. Many, but sure. I said, as we were learning, you just kept building these. Uh, also, was there any time that you thought about the most difficult time 
in the last sort of one decade or something abhi hai right yeah. um, i would say so strongly right uh, the climate we have at the moment is yeah. probably the most difficult i've seen in the last 10 years right so uh but yes we've had our uh, uh difficult times i would say you know jab aapke dharne ho jate hain ek pura region aapka band pada hua hai how are you supposed to get revenue out covid was uh, uh, you know kind of more fear than actually what happened hmm. uh, i think the government did take right steps to make sure that they didn't actually go on the track of what ha- was happening in china but uh मैं आपको बड़ी ऑनेस्टली बात करूंगा एंड आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू से दिस इज वी आर सो स्पेशल और एनीथिंग वी जस्ट नॉर्मल हमल पीपल बट वी वी सो यूज टू फेसिंग इश्यूज हियर यू नो बी एड आपका uh, एक दिन पूरा इंटरनेट नहीं आएगा राइट यू नो टू द पॉइंट आपकी वेबसाइट्स डाउन पड़ी हुई हैं टू द पॉइंट दैट आप ऑफिस uh, नहीं जा सकते राइट एंड कोविड इट सेल्फ राइट यू बट आर पीपल नो दे ऑलवेज have been taught and they know this that we have to be on the ground we have to make sure we have to get out and uh, do the best we can so allah ka shukar hai ji and uh, we probably i think one other thing we strongly do is we forecast right and we preempt so we don't wait as an example agar main aajkal ki baat karu is pakistan in a state of default or uh, are we going to default at any point in time or the economy is ever going to recover and if you don't plan for this today then when that moment comes in true you're going to crash sure. right so we we plan accordingly right you know when are we going to put our feet on the throttle and when are we going to lift it up hmm. and making sure that aap aur hamare fundamentals ya hamare jo key uh, metrics hote hain jinko monitor kar rahe hote hain wo bhi saath saath evolve kar rahe hote hain right hmm. Hmm. so as an example you're looking at average revenue what is coming from a team and uh, you know then you pivot, then we change that to okay what is the productivity of that team you know because average revenue agar aap example aapko de raha hu agar panch log kaam kar rahe hain panch logon ka revenue kya chal raha hai वर्सेज यू नो माई फोकस शुड बी ऑन कि वो अगर एवरेज रेवेन्यू आपका अच्छा आ रहा है तो उसमें से शायद दो काम ही नहीं कर रहे हैं वर्सेज द प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड आज तो ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट यही है कि ऑल द बिजनेस फ्राम फेसबुक टू गूगल टू अमेजोन टू ऑल द बिग वंस आर सेंग यू नो द की एरिया वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन इज प्रोडक्टिविटी दिस इज हैपन इन द वेस्ट एस्ट पीपल हैव गॉटन इट ईजी इन द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स राइट सो द क्लाइमेट तो आपका it's just इफ यू प्री एम थिंग यू यू डोंट फाइंड इट सो डिफिकल्ट बट येस यू वेस्ट टाइम वेस्ट टाइम इन द सेंस के progressive growth nahi hai constructive nahi hai rather you focusing on something which is uh, not going to get results and you preparing yourself for that hmm. uh, so i mean it's not result driven oriented yeah. kind of approach yeah. and that's but the irony here right? the problem sure. uh, the masla yeah. but generally jab aapki government mein bhi zara meetings hoti hongi baat yeah. hoti hogi senior officials se har kisi se what are what do you think like how they are thinking in terms of business matlab bahut se mumalik hain aise ki jahan political turmoil to chal raha hota hai बट बिजनेस शायद इतने ज़्यादा इफेक्ट नहीं होते जितना है मतलब देर इज़ अ क्लियर बाउंड्री बट यहाँ ऑब्वियसली एवरी थिंग इज़ कनेक्टेड विद आर्ट लाइक थ्रू इन्वेस्टमेंट से लेके अभी पीछे कंपनीज बंद हुई बहुत से वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट लाइक यू नो वापस चले गए हैं ऑब्वियसली आई डोंट नो कितने अर्से में विल रिकवर सो वट आर दे थिंकिंग देखिए मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हु आर कॉलिंग द शॉर्ट्स राइट एंड एनी गवर्नमेंट दैट मे बी आर more focused on the business approach that exists on the ground hmm. right and uh, you know they keep keep working uh, with the positive intent many one ki niyat kharab hoti hai to solve problems for such people on the ground ab jo business mindset pakistan mein typically raha hai wo bahut institutional nahi hai right hamare sector mein to bahut kam hai but generally speaking itna nahi hai it's more of a family driven kind of a business mentali- mentality and uh, not driven by raising capital as such ab last ek do saalon mein maine dekha tha 10 startups right practically so when you try to support such a business your mindset is going to be okay i'm going to build my policy and structures around supporting these guys trade unions and all mm. of that and mm. your federations and all jahan pe ab ja ke baith ke kaam kar rahe and uh, that's where the missing gap is because uh, you know the fdi that we need to bring in which was coming in the last two years ab mm. uh, evaporate mm. kar gayi hai right global climate bhi hai but local bhi hamari uncertainty hai uh us pe progressive kaam shayad recently ab zyada hona shuru hua tha which should have started probably years ago right? when we did Sorry. our first raise that was the time when the yeah. world was changing and it was more global now it's more local mm. right so mm. uh to us lihaz se kuch policies aayi hai slow aayi hai right you know and the initiatives haven't been so forthcoming uh in terms of putting more momentum to the whole game 
बट वी डू कनेक्ट वी हमने एल के अंदर काफ़ी काम किया बायलॉस बेहतर कराए वर्टिकल करने के लिए वी कैप केविंग दम सजेशन हमने दूसरे इदारों के साथ भी यूँ आगे पीछे जहाँ जहाँ हम अपने फीडबैक दे सकते हैं दिस इज़ बनो ए सी के साथ hmm. अभी फ्रैक्शनाइजेशन hmm. पर हमारी डिस्कशन चल रही है हाउ द एकेडमी स्टार्ट तो इस तरह की चीज़ें हम जहाँ जहाँ हेल्प कर सकते हैं वी डू की प्लेंग आर पार्ट बट समटाइम्स इट डज गेट डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज यू द मैसेज दैट नीज टू बी डिलीवर्ड मैं आपको सिंपल एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ द नेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक्चुअली कम फोर्थ इन ऑल द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज एंड दे इन्वेस्ट इन स्टार्टअप्स ठीक है जी आपने देखा हुआ है लाइक्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी एजेंसी इन्वेस्टिंग इन द लाइक्स ऑफ फेसबुक एंड सी आई एज इन्वेस्टेड एंड सो सो दीज कंपनीज कम इन एंड दे हेल्प देर बिजनेस यहाँ पे वो फ्लेवर मैंने इतना ज़्यादा नहीं देखा है यू नो सो इफ यू नो रेज ऑल द कैपिटल फ्राम अब्रॉड यू नो एंड अब आए थे कुछ फंड्स लोकल पर वो भी प्राइवेट सेक्टर में यू नो तो गवर्नमेंट की सपोर्ट है कि जी कामयाब जवान प्रोग्राम बना दें या हम कोई और इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स इंक्यूबेशन सेंटर्स कम है राइट यू नो बट उसमें गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से कितनी सपोर्ट आ रही है टूवर्ड्स हेल्पिंग दी स्टार्टअप्स दैट्स द ओनली वे यू कैन कीप योर स्टार्टअप्स विद इन पाकिस्तान रादर मोर कैपिटल यू रेज फ्राम अब्रॉड the more dependent or are you on uh, the international community and the more you going to keep raising and yeah. eventually the business is just you mm. know it, it's it's like you do not even majority right so how do we how do we retain this within pakistan that's where you know the government or any other organization has to come forth set up a fund and start supporting the local businesses especially mm. in this climate koi funding nahi aa rahi bahar se startups band kar dein there's so much talent yeah. you know it aapki yeah. baat cheet hoti hai yeah. there's so much material can we actually build up a support mechanism for mm. them to sustain this period we need rupees yeah. we don't need dollars right yeah. you know why do we go after dollars hmm. in million dollars raise ho gaye million yeah. dollars raise ho gaye yeah. because we don't have a choice hmm. so but what what do you think about ye jo pura government ka jaise aapne kaha support hai filhal to incubation centers hi hain kuch private incubation yeah. centers hain kuch jo funds pakistanis ne banaye hain wo bhi technically paise bahar se hi i think un vcs ke dal rahe hain kuch industrialists bhi hain jo unhone acche funds banaye hue hain jo apne wealth ko us taraf leke ja rahe hain right so they investing but yes lekin uh, generally abhi tak humne un un incubation se ya jo co-working spaces aap keh rahe hain ya pura jo ecosystem hai उस तरह की कंपनीज हम नहीं देख रहे हैं मतलब जो कंपनीज बनी भी हैं पिछले पाँच आठ साल में बड़ी वो दे स्टार्टेड ऑन देर ओन खुद से शुरू हुए अब जरा वो एक लोगों का लॉजिक ये भी होता है कि जी अभी तो मैंने शुरू की है अभी तो हम प्रोडक्ट बना रहे हैं ये कर रहे हैं बट जर इट्स अ डिजिटल दौर यू डोंट नीड लाइक एट टू टेन ईयर्स कि आप अभी आई थिंक मुझे पर्सनली ये लगता है कि वो एक बड़ा वो कूल और सेक्सी सा भी बन गया है टू बींग नॉट एन आप यूनी से निकले हैं तो एज अ गैप ईयर आपने जाके बस यू नो थोड़ा सा वहाँ पूल कर कर रहे हैं ये कर रहे हैं थोड़ा खेल कूद रहे हैं ठीक है चला नथिंग नथिंग रॉन्ग विद दैट थॉट एज लॉन्ग एज यू हैव अ गुड स्ट्रक्चर्ड अप्रोच ऑफ गोइंग अबाउट इट एंड वेयर द इनक्यूबेटर्स कैन प्ले अ बिगर पार्ट और ट्राई टू प्ले अ पार्ट बट आई गेस हमारे यहाँ पे शुरू में ज़्यादा था अब शायद थोड़ा सा बेहतर हुए यू नो वी आर टू फोकस ऑन द प्रोडक्ट इट सेल्फ एंड uh, आप कोई भी किताब उठा के देख लें तो इट्स ऑलवेज अबाउट बैक बोन क्या है किसी भी कंपनी का आई है बीन टू वन और टू टॉक्स देर एंड यू यू आस्क द स्टूडेंट्स और पीपल स्टार्टअप्स यंग एंटरप्रनर्स आप पूछते हैं उनसे कि यार आप पैसा आएगा तो करोगे क्या सो मोस्ट ऑफ दम आंसर आई प्रॉब्लम आई एम आई विल स्पेंड मोस्ट ऑफ ऑन माई प्रोडक्ट एंड आई एम गोट डू मार्केटिंग हार्डली पीपल टॉक अबाउट सेल्स एंड एनी द बैक बोन ऑफ एनी कंपनी सालों से देखते हैं हिस्ट्री में चले जाएँ या अभी की बात करने इज योर सेल्स यूनिट इफ़ यू कैन ब्रिंग इन रेवेन्यू बट आई सी दिस मतलब खैर थोड़े और गैप्स भी होते हैं मार्केट की पेनट्रेशन या साइजिंग के अंदर भी गैप्स होते हैं यू टू पोटेंशियल के अंदर गैप्स होते हैं वी यूज एस्टिमेशन कोई नहीं आप वो भी कर लें बट दैट्स योर प्लानिंग राइट प्लानिंग इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट एंड दैट्स वेयर द गैप्स एंड दैट्स वेयर द रेवेन्यूज डोंट कम इन and because the global climate was yeah who cares about revenue mm. just get growth revenue aap kaata rahe yeah. right? and that's a big big problem mm. right we didn't mm. do that mm. but it took us a longer time because aaj ab ab is all about cash it's not yeah. about uh, margins anymore right it's about cash you have cash right margins hi aega cash but mm. Mm. i'm talking negative margins pe business nahi kar sakte sure. right so i think that's where we need more focus aur sahi aapko lagta hai ki mentorship ki bhi us tarah kami hai bahut zyada i i would say so because um, बहुत कम लोग हैं जिन्होंने एक्चुअली ट्रू सेंस में यहाँ पे बिजनेस को उस लेवल पे ग्रो किया है राइट यू एंड द चैलेंज इज एक्चुअली टेक यू डाउन यू नो द काइंड ऑफ फायर फाइटिंग दैट यू हैव टू डू हियर इज अनॉर्मस राइट एंड दर इज नो सपोर्ट स्ट्रक्चर सो आई गेस यू स्टार्ट स्मॉल यू आर नॉट हाईलाइटेड आप कुछ अच्छा अच्छा काम अच्छा काम करते हैं एज यू स्टार्ट गोइंग बेग यू नो द वल्चर्स कम आफ्टर यू राइट ये भी सही नहीं वो भी सही नहीं वो भी सही नहीं एंड यू नो देर इज नो सपोर्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑन एट दैट पॉइं
ओवरकम दैट बट आई गेस दिस मैंने आपको बताया टैलेंट है जी hmm. सिर्फ नर्चरिंग और डायरेक्शन की जरूरत है एंड uh, कुछ मतलब अब कुछ अच्छे स्टार्टअप्स बीच में अभी भी बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं इट्स नॉट लाइक ऑल कोर्स डन एंड डस्टेड यू एंड वी विल सी अ फ्यू रॉक स्टार्स कमिंग अप इन शाला बट इस टेक टाइम वी जस्ट एंड इन दिस क्लाइमेट इस को टेक अ लॉन्गर टाइम तो यू एंड इट्स गुड फॉर द इंडस्ट्री आई हैलवेज बीन वेरी होपफुल के अच्छे लोग निकले बिकॉज यू इट्स नॉट अबाउट के एक या दो ऊपर आपके शाइनिंग स्टार्स बैठे हुए और नीचे कुछ भी नहीं है दैट डजन हेल्प द ग्लोबल इन्वायरमेंट दैट डजन हेल्प पाकिस्तान इन अ वे कि आप कहते हैं मैंने अभी इंडिया के अंदर आपको भी पता है आई पी ओ इंडिया के अंदर हो रहे हैं रिटेनिंग देयर कैश एंड वेल्थ राइट सो दैट मीन्स वेल्थ जनरेशन इज कमिंग इन विद इन द कंट्री राइट सो वी नीड मोर एंड मोर प्लेयर्स कमिंग अप इको सिस्टम स्ट्रॉग होएगा कुछ अच्छे प्लेयर्स आएंगे आपके यू एंड दैन दैट मीन्स यू बी पाकिस्तान एज एज अ कंट्री बिकम स्ट्रॉगर मोर इन्वेस्टमेंट विल कम इन एंड प्लीज यू ये बड़ा ज़रूरी मैसेज है यू सबको के दे नो शॉर्ट कट्स राइट यू गाइज दे नो शॉर्ट कट्स दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू आस्क वट वुड बी योर एडवाइस फॉर एनी वन नॉट जस्ट हुई स्टार्टिंग बट लेट्स ए दो तीन साल हो गए हैं और लाइक टू टू कॉन्टिन्यू टू ग्रो for the looking after the next sort of 10 years what are the top things you think they should sort of think about they, uh, you know when you make your business plans right so often aap kisi bhi vc ke paas jayenge ya fund ke paas they would ask you for the five year horizon ke paas ka horizon de de but when they're looking at your plans they're practically focusing on the first year maybe a little bit mm. on the second year but not beyond that and every year when you come back to your business plan it will keep evolving and changing mm. तो ये सबको पता है जो बिजनेस में स्टार्टअप्स में है क्या मैंने काम किया एक साल बाद क्या मेरा पिछले साल का प्लान जो मैंने बनाया सेकंड ईयर का सेम है इट विल चेंज इफ़ यू गोइंग गुड नंबर शोइंग गुड नंबर्स तो वो आई यू प्रॉब्लम शो यू बेटर ग्रोथ एंड इफ़ यू स्ट्रगलिंग देन यू रिवाइज इट यू ट्वीक इट एंड वो यू यून पेवेट मे बी उसमें से दो स्ट्रीम्स आपकी होंगी नहीं आगे सो टेन ईयर्स पर अगर आप हराइजन देख रहे हैं ना येस यू राइट आपने टेन ईयर्स का अच्छा लिया कि यू थिंक लॉन्ग टर्म डोंट थिंक शॉर्ट टर्म राइट देर इज नो शॉर्ट कट एज ए सेट एंड देन make short term plans mm. you know achieve your first year growth or six months growth and you know go after that and try to go deep into mm. it right try to go micro especially for the ceos try to stay micro go deep and try to figure out where the gap is mm. and if you can do that strongly you know then uh, you have wo kehte hai na family business mein bhi pehle bacche ko factory mein lagate hain khud se kaam karo आपने पाकिस्तान में जिसने खुद से काम करना छोड़ा hmm. उस दिन यू नो योर बिजनेस विल स्टार्ट गोइंग डाउन बिकॉज द क्लाइमेट एंड द डायनामिक्स आर चेंजिंग ग्लोबली लोकली एवरीवेयर दे आर चेंजिंग एट ऑल द टाइम्स राइट सो यू नीड टू स्टे डीप अंडरस्टैंड एंड इवॉल्व कीप इवॉल्विंग बट ट्राई डोंट मिस योर गोल्स यू भी ऑप्शन से अच्छा ये हो गया चलो कुछ नहीं होता hmm. हम बाद में कवर अप कर लेंगे फॉर मी दैट्स अ डेथ सेंटेंस राइट यू दैन दैट मीन्स यू नो यू आर यू आर इन सो एंड आप पचास के पी आई पे और पचास जगहों पे फोकस करने की कोशिश मत करें सिंप्लीफाई द मॉडल येट इट कुड बी वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स बट हैव सिंपल बेसिक के पी आई दैट यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रैक एंड देन ट्रैक दैम रात को सोते हुए ख्वाब में भी आपको आने चाहिए सुबह उठ के भी वही आने चाहिए और अगर वो नहीं पूरे हो रहे तो देन ट्राई टू फिगर आउट कि कहाँ पर गैप है डोंट कॉम्प्लिकेट थिंग्स राइट अननेसेसरीली बिकॉज वो आपने पहले जैसे कहा ना कि बहुत से लोग हैं पर्सनली समटाइम्स आई ऑल्सो थिंक आई थिंक नाउ आई एम ऑल्सो थिंकिंग क्वाइट सॉर्ट ऑफ डीपली कि आप जैसे बड़े होंगे चलो मैं ना थोड़ा सा सुकून आ जाएगा बट आई थिंक द मोर यू ग्रो द मोर माइक्रो इन अ वे अच्छा हमारे कल्चर में है राइट यू मैं आपको थोड़ी सी एक दो अगर कल्चर की बातें करूँ राइट सो वेन बी केम हेयर आई रिमेंबर मी एंड माई ब्रदर मान वी वर स्टैंडिंग सेटिंग अपर ऑफिस तो हम एक एल जी के स्टोर पर गए हमने उनसे कहा यार आप हमें यू ये चार ए सीज दे दें ये दे दें बंदा मुझे देख रहे हो यंग राइट यू प्रॉब्लम मेड ट्वेंटीज तो बंदा देख रहा है तो बंदा देख के कहता है जी हमने कहा ये चार ए सीज़ आप दे दें पैक कर दें इसका ऑर्डर बना देना तो देख रहा है हमें अच्छा आपने कॉल नहीं करना मैंने कहा क्या मतलब कॉल नहीं करना कहता है आपने किसी बड़े को वाले साहब को कॉल नहीं करना <laughs> आपको आपको कैसे दे दें राइट वी लुक यंगर देन वॉट बीच एंड यू प्रॉब्लम है इस कि उसकी सोच और कल्चर में ये है कि ये की कैसे फैसला कर सकता है एंड आर डिसीजन मेकिंग कैपेबिलिटी is so weak generally we are not taught we are not and the family systems we have we are not even allowed taught to bahut duri baat hai so when we come into real life what is our life about wow what do we do in life right you know if you can't take decisions hmm. on all fronts personal family life or work you will fail right aap kaise aage success achieve karenge hmm. you know or or the more you grow 
तो मोर डिसीजन यू हैव टू टेक नाउ टेल मी आपसे मैं सवाल करता हूँ कि आपने एक फैसला करना भी बैठे बैठे यू आर नॉट इवन इनफॉर्म सो हाउ कैन यू शाई अवे एंड एंड रन अवे फ्राम योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लॉक योर सेल्फ इन रूम एंड जस्ट डेलीगेट वेर यू नॉट इवन इनफॉर्म एंड देन यू हैव टू टेक दिस डिसीजन फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ द बिजनेस then what then you know then we see the fall of all the uh, big tycoons and you mm. know the global leaders that haven't done that even hitler that's yeah. what happened to him his four generals kept feeding him and he started taking decisions sitting in the room yeah. so you know hota hi ya apne sahi faisle lene hain aur wo faisle lene ke liye aapko saath kaam karta hai and then just imagine as you grow up you know aap the material you have the thought process you have what you've learned on 10 fronts Hmm. and you're hiring people and you expect them they learn okay. they learn that over time nahi unko yeah. foreign to nahi aayega so you can probably nurture them and pace their growth hmm. and you hmm. know over time hota hai actually dekhen responsibility matrix change ho jata hai aapka right and this is what people fail to understand i'm not saying ki aap sadak pe baithe ho i mean at my level i'm not saying ki main jaake kisi agency ke daftar mein baitha hu aur deal close hmm. kara raha hu dekh raha hmm. hu uh, after a certain level of growth you know when vcs come in what do they want to look at they want to look at your team hmm. after a certain level of growth you have changed into a leader and the leader needs to build more leaders right mm. what you've learned you need to transfer transpire that into people and then they need to deploy that and if you're not able to do that and you're not able to create leaders within your organization to phir aapka scale nahi increase ho sakta right you know and then you can't scale up then the business going down but mm. your responsibility has changed but you have to do 10 times more work yeah. with your people yeah. to help them grow and take decisions so ye ye gaps hain yahan pe jo ye wo लोग अपनी मर्जी से शादी नहीं कर सकते एज एन एग्जाम्पल तो ये किसने फैसला करना है जी जिंदगी आपकी फ्यूचर आपका फैसला किसी और का हमारे पास अभी कम हो गया लेकिन होता है लोग आते हैं ऑफिस में अप्लाई फॉर जॉब्स और कहते हैं जी मैं वाले साहब से पूछ लूँ दफा पूछ लो मैं कहा नहीं नहीं यार वाले साहब से पूछता तो वाले साहब वो नौकरी के लिए अप्लाई करें और आप घर पर बैठो रहे वी नीड टू चेंज आर कल्चर समाओ एंड एजुकेशन एंड 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 हाउ वी बाहर बच्चे को बाहर क्यों निकाल देते हैं ए लेवल्स में वो काम कर रहे होते हैं बच्चों को बाहर निकाल देते हैं सो दैट यू जाओ फेस द वर्ल्ड डिसीजन मेकिंग आई थिंक पावर पावर एनेबलमेंट वो नहीं होती तो ये काफी इश्यूज हैं एंड दैट्स व्हाई यू नो द बिगर प्रॉब्लम इन पाकिस्तान इज वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टैलेंट बट वी हैव दीस बेसिक एट्रीब्यूट्स मिसिंग एट टाइम्स एंड देन व्हेन यू कम टू रियल लाइफ यू नो देन वी लुक अराउंड ऑल द टाइम ठीक है आपने मेंटरशिप लेनी है बट मेंटरशिप भी आपने सेलेक्ट करनी है ना अब यू नो देयर इज अ इंटेलिजेंस के जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स आप पढ़ें खास तौर वेस्ट के तो उसके अंदर एक प्ले बुक होती है कि हाउ टू डिस्ट्रॉय अ कंपनी राइट नाउ दिस इज इन द द फैक्ट बुक्स राइट जो इनकी एंड हाउ टू डिस्ट्रॉय अ कंपनी एंड दे से दैट फॉर्म कमेटीज मोर देन फाइव पीपल सो दैट डिसीजन मेकिंग डजन हैपन अब आप खुद से फैसला करने के काबिल नहीं है आपके पास कलीग्स नहीं है थिंक टैंक नहीं है आपका You know, I often ask my head, who is your think tank? That's my first question. Hmm. Think tank क्या आपका किसके साथ बैठ के सोच रहे हो अगर वो think tank नहीं बनाया then that's your starting, hmm. that's your hmm. you know beginning to failure, right? तो ये basic चीजें हैं जी जिस पे focus करना होता है so job increases but hmm. you have to build more leaders and that's that's what you intend to do. How hopeful are you for the future? Um, like असल में not just like a motivation. मैं आपको किसी लगा था do we have a choice, right? You know, if you're not hopeful then you are uh, six feet under the ground, right? Hmm. But uh, कल बल्कि मुझे भी कह रहा था कि पाकिस्तान में आपको रहना है तो आपको ऑप्टोमिस्टिक आप होना है मतलब उसके बगैर देर इज नो अदर ऑप्शन ऑप्टोमिस्टिक भी होना है होपफुल भी होना है और रियलिस्टिक भी होना है राइट तो ऑप्टोमिज्म व्हिच इज डिसकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम ग्राउंड रियलिटी आई कीप कमिंग बैक टू दैट राइट यू नो इट्स नॉट गोना वर्क आउट बट यू राइट यू डोंट हैव अ चॉइस एज़ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स वी डोंट हैव अ चॉइस राइट यू नो सो चॉइस इज व्हाट चलिए मैं कहता हूं हम ऑप्टोमिस्टिक नहीं है मुल्क के बारे में या इकॉनमी के बारे में सो व्हाट चॉइसेस डू वी हैव ट्रू एज अ क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू आस्क ourselves डू वी लीव द कंट्री That's a choice. Mm-hmm. Then do that. Yeah. Don't stay here. Don't show me your face. Don't tell yeah. me, "Yar, ye ho gaya, wo ho gaya." Then go. You know, abhi kafi baar hamare saath se hota hai experts aate hain yaar Pakistan mein ye nahi hai, wo nahi hai. To main unse hi kehta hu, "Aap aa jaye, aake hamari help kar de." Ha nahi hai, hame bhi pata hai nahi hai. Hum koshish kar rahe hain. At least koshish kar rahe hain. Aap aa jaye. Agar aapko itna love lost hai, sir property na khareede na, fir aake isko sort out bhi kar de. So uh, optimism and being hopeful is is by default is part of my nature mm-hmm. and uh, you know we have to stay and in realistic terms agar hum baat kare we are in very difficult times mm-hmm. uh, but 200 million log ghayab nahi hone wale overnight yeah. you know as a massive population there are opportunities even in state of default it depends how you look at it because when you default you can export more mm-hmm. your production can go up right you are the best place to uh, put manufacturing in you know because aapki cheezein sasti aa rahi hain wahan se 
ना क्या आई यू गुक एट दैट पे यू गुना से आर डिफॉल्ट हो गया चलो जी भागें यहाँ मुल्क से बाहर भाग जाएँ ये वो तो मुल्क से बाहर भागना है तो फिर दो सौ मिलियन लोग मुल्क से बाहर भाग जाते हैं जी और मुल्क को शट डाउन करके बैठ जाते हैं तो दैट्स नॉट तो देर देर इस हाउ यू लुक एट प्रॉब्लम एंड हाउ यू सॉल्व दैम एंड यू डू प्लान अमूमन रा दैन देखें वो होता है मैं आपको अभी यूँ क्योंकि पाकिस्तान के एक साल के अंदर पाकिस्तान की इकोनॉमी को सही कर दें तो कोई भी नहीं कर सकता यू नो ऑल प्रोमिस आर यू नो टू बी ब्रोकन इफ एनी वन सेज कि मैं एक साल में सही कर दूंगा बट एक साल में अगर मैं अपना गोल बनाता हूँ कि ट्वेंटी परसेंट अचीव करूँगा और उन गोल्स को मैं थोड़ा थोड़ा तोड़ के देख लूँ कि मैंने इसमें से तो टॉप थ्री गोल्स क्या है मैं गोल सेटिंग अच्छी तरह कर लूँ यू नो एंड देन आई ट्राई टू अचीव दो थ्री गोल्स फॉरगेट अबाउट वॉट इज़ गोइंग टू द आउटकम तो अगर आप ट्वेंटी परसेंट भी अचीव करते हैं तो दैट्स ऑप्टिमिज्म राइट यू नो रोलिंग फॉर्वर्ड रा दैन लुकिंग एट यार अच्छा ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता ये प्रॉब्लम इतनी बड़ी हो गई है ओके लेस रन अवे राइट एंड वी ऑफन हैव दैट कैंड ऑफ एन एटीट्यूड सो आई एम वेरी होपफुल इन शाला जी देखें यू नो हमारे अपने सेक्टर के हवाले से भी यू नो देर इज स्टिल मूवमेंट इन द मार्केट देर स्टिल ह्यूज शॉर्टेज ऑफ हाउस होल्ड यू नो आपकी हर साल इंक्रीज हो जाती है सो सप्लाई एंड डिमांड में तो क्लियर बिजनेस क्वेश्चन है यू नो द मोर डेवलपर्स वी कैन कम कैन कम इन एंड टेक पार्ट इन द मार्केट द बेटर इज कॉन बी फॉर द मार्केट and uh, you know we are a resilient nation you know inshallah and i'm not saying just for the sake of it because we often hear this ke theek ho jayega you know but theek karne ke liye we need to uh, build up a very strong plan how this is going to be done uh, and uh, you know then with the right thought process with the right intention you know we'll get somewhere if not uh, you know at the end of the tunnel thank you so much ishan bhai uh, i think it was a very sort of uh, ek mentorship session ho gaya sort of so we'll come again inshallah and uh, thank you so much for the time and uh, doing the great work for the country which you guys are doing thank, thank you. you thank you so much sala for giving us giving me the opportunity and uh, wish you all the best you know we together we have to make this nation strong and what you are doing i really commend you you know jisna aap logon ka you know attraction rahi hai and the kind of subscriber base that you've built in such a short time so i i think you know you are the next one to look out for inshallah 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 thank you so much thank you Thank you.